this thing set up in here but it's finally set up loving just looking around and seeing my easel there and i've got some art out on it i thought i'd finished this one actually my chameleons those two are done but i need to work on that one to just look around occasionally and see all this bright color is just really cool it's really cool i'm enjoying it hello voiceover row here i don't have any more vlog footage for February or March. I'm afraid it's been somewhat barren <laughs> in terms of art making around here. I've really been having a, a tough time making anything, doing anything, just ugh. <laughs> the last two years have been an uphill battle and so far 2022 is not being any better. Honestly, it's, I think it's just starting to get to me. It's just, I'm burning out. I, or I, I, I burnt out. I did, I burnt out. I've done too many classes, too many teaching modules, too many videos in too short a space of time and I needed to just stop for a while. <laughs> and I know that might sound weird when I don't really post on YouTube very often, but bear in mind that I do have a Patreon and I do a minimum of two live classes every single week. So basically two live streams, but they're taught classes. But it's a lot. Eventually, you just get to a point where garbage in, garbage out, I suppose. You, if you're just not really doing anything, not really going anywhere, there's not really anything fun going on, you just kind of run out of ideas and eventually your well runs dry. But I don't really want to go out. I kind of have got into a, a little niche of staying in my own little environment over the last two years and not really going out, out anywhere. I guess if the last two years have taught me anything, it's that I really enjoy being at home, pottering around, doing my own thing, and very occasionally going out somewhere. I just don't want to do it. I'd rather stay home and paint. Unfortunately, for the last two months, I've not really painted anything. This was the last thing I painted until I started the April Art Challenge, which I will be showing you in a video coming very soon. But yeah, I just wasn't that I didn't want to make anything and it wasn't that I didn't know what to make or anything like that. It was just that I didn't have the energy. I actually, at the beginning of March, realised that part of the issue was my environment was not conducive to feeling happy and relaxed being at home all the time. Reason being, over the last two years, I have a tendency to be a pack rat. And if pack rat isn't kept under control, then pack rat becomes hoarder. Part of the reason is because I haven't really left the house to see other environments. I've only, like, I've been to the park across the road, but that's like going out into your garden. It's not really a change of environment as such. So you don't realise how things are going or how things are looking until you go somewhere else and you come back and see your environment in a completely different light. And I didn't do that, but I just had this realisation that maybe it was the way my studio was. Because Lord knows I've been trying to sort this studio out for three years and I'm getting nowhere. Or I have been getting nowhere. I feel bad creating when I should be sorting my studio out. I can't really create until I sort my studio out. But instead of sorting my studio out, I go and hide in my sketchbooks. So I decided what I really need is some company. So as a level three hoarder, I came out, I suppose, to my patrons and said, hey, I have this problem. Look at the state of my studio. And I actually showed them photographs of my actual studio in its actual state. I'm not talking like, oh, this is a bit untidy. I need to tidy up. It was bad. 
turned it into a mini class and said, you know what, if I'm going to do this, maybe there's other people who want to do this. Maybe there's other people who want to do this with me. And I've got about 30 people in the class with me who, got to admit, some of them have twice as much stuff as me, but it's better organised. Others have half as much stuff as me, but it's nowhere near as organised. And at least two people in the class are in the same boat as me, pretty much. It was actually really nice to have other people turn around and go, you know what? This is what mine looks like. Mine is no better. I could do with some some sorting out as well. It's actually been a really, really great experience. We started in mid-March and we're going to the end of April. And the premise of the class, the whole premise of the class, it's not about decluttering. It's not about this. It's not about, it's about getting our environments back to a functional and pleasant place to be. Now, pleasant and functional is different for everybody. I'm never going to be tidy. I'm never going to be one of those people who has a pristine studio with a beautiful white desk and only a pot plant on the corner of the table. That's not me. I'm just not like that. I am a pack rat and I like to have my stuff around me because that's where I get my inspiration. But there comes a point where too much stuff becomes claustrophobic. And I think I reached that point. But now we're three weeks in and I really feel like a weight has been lifted because we've done so much. Between us, we've got rid of over a hundred bags and boxes of trash that we were throwing out, donations, gifts to charity, things we were just going to recycle. Most of us are just like, you know what, if I haven't used it in X amount of years, then I probably don't need it. It's going down the charity shop. Then there's all the uh, stuff that we've sorted out during the lockdowns that never made it to a charity shop because charity shops have only just started opening again. My environment is getting better. My studio is coming together. I'm really happy. I'm actually enjoying the process. And it's great to be able to cheer each other on. It's been really good fun. So that's where I've been. I needed to sort out my own environment and apparently so did lots of other people. So rather than making YouTube videos, I decided to just concentrate on getting my studio sorted. But my studio is coming together now. I feel like I've got a handle on it. So it's time to start making YouTube videos again and vlogging and all that kind of stuff because I finally got my creative mojo back. I've cleared enough space, both mentally and physically, to be able to bring new things in or create new things and have space to put them, which sounds a bit woo-woo, but that's how my head is working at the moment. I've, I've been feeling claustrophobic mentally, physically, creatively, and all of that has been alleviated by the amount of work I've been able to get done in my studio with the help of a few friends. Not that they've been physically helping, but, you know, just sitting and chatting to other people who are doing the same thing as you is really, really cool. That's where I've been. And hopefully I will be back on YouTube a lot more regularly. I feel bad that I don't do YouTube videos more often. But honestly, the last two years, I think for everybody, has been an uphill struggle backwards in ice skates. You know, <laughs> it's... It's been hard, guys, hasn't it? And I admire those people who've been able to get through the last two years just constantly creating and vlogging. And, you know, there's so many creators now doing studio vlogs, and it's amazing to see them. But I, I don't know where they get their energy from. I really don't. <laughs> the last two years have been brutal, and I think it finally took its toll on me this year. But I'm back. I feel good. Let's get this road on the show. Oh, that's, that's Maddie saying hello. Hello, Miss Maddie. Maddie's happy. Scooby's, uh, well, Scooby's another story. We'll talk about him another time. It's actually his gotcha day tomorrow. April 12th is his gotcha day. Well, I suppose if you're on YouTube, you'll be seeing this on April 12th. If you're on Patreon, you get it a day early. But yeah, it's his gotcha day tomorrow. Ten years. April 12th, 2012, he came to live with us. He was a foster. He just never left. <laughs> I never even officially adopted him. He just never left. <laughs> We're going to do something fun for that, aren't we, Scoob? I don't have anything else to say. I'm just waffling at this point. So I'm going to cut it off there. And I will see you again very soon in another video. Thanks for joining me and um, chat soon. Bye, guys.